Hi, I'm Volopian, and this is my method for getting Sniper Assassin on Miami on, district, on Master Difficulty. Um, I'll be starting at the Marina with the Seeger 300 Tactical stashed in the pit building blockers, and I have the Silver Baller, Lockpick, and Coins. The goal of this method is to coax Robert and Sierra Knox into being at the same location at roughly the same time, which makes lining them up for shots very easy. Um, it's a method that relies on multiple aspects of the game to move Sierra and Robert where they need to be, distract a guard who's there at the same time, and then use utilize various disguises to move them around the map without being spotted. Um, there are more straightforward methods of assassinating them, but I feel that those methods don't really show the game knowledge that this one does. So to begin, we're going to make our way over to the parking lot underneath the expo building. Our goal is to disable the security camera system and to get a couple of weapons that we'll use to disguise to distract a guard later. And there's a disguise that's nice to have as well. So we're just going to come down here. I'm here now. Ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. And we're going to play with this fuse box, which will distract the guard outside. And we're going to turn it back on so nobody else gets disguised, um, distracted by it. Now we could run inside and disable the security cameras. Which we're going to do while he's busy checking out that box. He's going to come back inside and then we're going to choke him out. his gun and the key card and we'll be taking his disguise after we drop him off in the box. So then we come back into the security area. We're going to slowly walk past the enforcer. And we're going to pick up the shotgun that is here in the corner. And then if we come out here, we are pretty close to where we started. And we can use the key card to enter here. Now when Sierra wins the race, Robert Knox exits this door, walks across here, and ends up right here. But he has a short conversation with Sierra. So we are going to drop a gun right here. Which, on the first pass through, the guard will take that and go back to the security room that we were safe, at to drop it off. And then when he comes back to meet back up with Robert, because his schedule has him following Robert uh, like a lost little puppy, um, we're going to drop the second gun here, which they shouldn't notice walking through the first time, which will cause him to rubber band back down here to the security area a second time. So with those errands complete, we've disabled the cameras, we have a decent disguise for what we need to do next, and we've placed the weapons, we need to make our way over to the VIP section on the other side of the tracks. Still trying to figure out if the bridge might be faster, but I'm not sure of an easy route to getting up it without adding more time and distance to this. But regardless, this path doesn't have any enforcers except for one, but they are pretty trivial to get past. So we run over here to the security area. And if we keep to the left of this green truck, the trailer, I guess, we can hop the fence here which gets us into the VIP area. And the only enforcer we have to worry about is that guy right there. So we're gonna sneak past and get up the stairs into the VIP area. Now he did slowly start to half spot us, but it didn't complete, so we're all good. 
Nunca le preguntaría por el pan, ¿no? So now that we're up here, we're going to go into the driver's lounge, and the disguise that we have will enable us to get the sugar without trespassing at all. So now that we have the sugar, we're going to go down to the basement, where we have stashed our sniper rifle. But we're not going to pick it up just yet. So the locker has three items of interest. The Kowun Mechanic Disguise, which we'll use to do the pit stop. A pit key card. Our sniper rifle, which isn't always here, depending on what you smuggle in. And there's also the Pale Brighter Disguise in the back corner, which we'll pick up later. We're going to slip across the Aeon Garage. And we're going to sneak into here and pick up the crowbar. Now, I'm going to drop a save here. Because one of the failure methods that I've run into a few times with this strategy involves right after you do the pit stop sabotage uh, getting spotted by the two enforcers in here. Um, it's happened to me about three times out of the ten or so attempts it's taken me to get video that I'm happy with. As well as the numerous issues that I had uh, jumping from professional to master with this method. Uh, hence why we were dropping the save right there. And now Moses is out of the race. So from here, we're just hoping to not get noticed by the two enforcers, the race is over. which sometimes happens Sierra after the second. Coming off the track but it looks like we've made it out scot free. So now we're going to run back across the Aeron garage and head down into the lockers. And now that we're here, we're, we are actually going to pick up our sniper rifle, as well as the Pale Rider Disguise, which is over here in the corner. Now that Moses is out of the race, uh, Robert is going to be moving over to the podium building shortly. So we're going to be up in the stands, ready to shoot them with the sniper rifle. The reason we grabbed the Pale Rider Disguise is that this segment of the VIP area has no enforcers while you're in this disguise, which makes moving through it very easy and lower risk. Okay, we're going to come over to here and unlock this door. And this is why we grabbed the crowbar, so if you don't actually have access to the lockpick somehow, you can still come over here. Although, honestly, the silent sniper is probably an integral part of making this work. So either way, we're going to come back here and turn off the fuse box and then turn it back on so as to not aggro the race coordinator twice. So Sierra's in the garage, and Robert has not deviated from his normal schedule just yet. We're going to give this guy a briefcase. And we're going to drag him over to the box and drop him down. And we're going to do the same with his buddy. So from here, Robert has started to deviate from his normal schedule. He's now heading downstairs to meet Sierra, who is almost at the tunnel. Robert is going to leave through this door and walk across the back section here, and then over into the podium building. Once in the podium building, he's going to notice the shotgun that we dropped, and he's going to instruct his guard to take that away. The guard will pick that up, go out through this door, and then down into the parking garage, pretty much the same route we, take, we took right at the beginning of all of this. Um, he's going to drop the shotgun off in the room where we picked up the shotgun in the first place, and then he's going to make his way back. And when he comes back, he's going to come in through this door and find the pistol that we dropped on the ground here, which will cause him to leave a second time. Uh, that timing lines up almost perfect with Robert, who is right here, and there's the pet bodyguard that we've done so much work to distract. 
Now, as Robert is walking back out, it's about the same time as the guard is discovering the pistol here, which means he won't see Robert getting shot. Robert's going to discover the pistol. And we'll see the guard leave pretty shortly here. Uh, Sierra is making her way on the other side of the podium building right now. Oh, okay. So I missed the guard leaving, but I saw the door closing. So he's now exited. And is heading to the parking garage to stash the shotgun somewhere safe. Sierra's going to be on the corner right about here, where she's going to do makeup or something. And this is a good spot to grab Moses Lee's outfit, if you need it for some reason. Although, just be careful, there aren't many good hiding spots for bodies uh, in the podium building. So Robert and Sierra are going to have a very short conversation, and then he's going to walk back the same way he came, which is going to be our window to shoot him. Now the goal is to shoot him right about here, so that if the guard is here dealing with a pistol, he won't see Robert's body, which will give us a better window to take out Sierra. And after shooting Knox, we can look over here for the podium and potentially get Sierra as she's coming up onto the podium stands. So the guard has returned. He has found the other firearm that we dropped and is now picking that up to leave. Sierra and Knox are about to have their conversation. So the guard is now completely out of the picture. So the timing worked out better this time around than in some of the previous attempts I've had. And Robert is now leaving. So we are free to shoot him the second he shows up here. So he is taken out. Robert knocks down. And if we watch now here, we will see when Sierra comes, comes up onto the podium platform. I've missed the shot up numerous times, so we want to make sure to get it right. Both. Which we did. Targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. I started to get spotted by the guard on the top of the stands, but he didn't actually see me. So we're going to grab our briefcase and go. Now, we technically have the option of doing the Easter egg exit from the Kronstadt garage, but that involves more risk, so we are not going to do that. We're going to make our way over to the main exit, which is by far the quickest and safest option. I've already done Sniper Assassin on this difficulty, so it won't show up here. But we should be able to look at the uh, detailed score, which is no recordings, never spotted. We did all the kills with a sniper rifle, and we did not kill any unnecessary targets as well so yeah that is a method for doing sniper assassin on miami now for the heir to the kronstadt empire sierra is going to come up these steps and we can shoot her or miss in this case which i've been really bad about today 